Yeah, right. What's going on, mobile gamers? Today, I'm going to show you guys how to play, or try to play, Call of Duty Warzone on your AYN Odin 2. So let's jump in, level up our gaming knowledge, play, do whatever we want to do to our Odin 2 in 2024. All right, mobile gamers. So I'm going to forewarn you before we actually get into this. This is your device. Do with it what you want. I am not responsible if your device gets damaged, locked out of COD Warzone, your account gets frozen, anything like that. It shouldn't. And I'm just giving you a heads up because I've been playing COD Warzone for a day and a half now. Not consistently, obviously. I have other things to do. But I've played maybe like 15 matches and never had any issues. And this isn't just for COD Warzone. The big reason why COD Warzone isn't working, well, it's not because of what people say on Reddit. Because Redditors are full of misinformation, if you ask me. <clears throat> so, that aside, we are going to be certifying our Odin 2. The reason for this is because AYN hasn't uploaded their custom ROM to Google to actually get it certified. So if we go to the Google Play Store, we click on our profile icon, we go down to our settings, we go down to about, we go down to the bottom and it says play protection certified right there. That is telling us that AYN, for example, has not sent this off to get certified by Google so that certain games and applications will actually be able to run. Now there's something else we have to do as well and I'm going to show you this today. Another thing you need is root access. I do have a video linked in the description below. I'm not gonna show you how to root the device today because it is an easy process. It does take a few minutes. So go watch that video before you come here because you do need to have your device rooted. And I do have a video specifically for the Odin 2 to root it on any version. Which brings me to my next thing. This is already rooted. I'm going to go down to about handheld and show you that I'm on build number 278, which is the latest firmware, and let you know that this is the firmware that we're going to be working on today. Now, if you remove your root access and remove everything that we're going to be adding today, it's going to get rid of that certification and that spoof certification saying that we are certified now this shouldn't get you in trouble with any of the games or applications or anything like that it's basically certifying your application or your your android device properly it's just using a different method to do so so that we can play games like cod warzone uh games like mario kart uh there's Wreckfest and terraria like right now if i go to the google play store and type in terraria or Terraria, however you want to spell it. It's going to say this app won't work for my device, but we're going to fix that. So what you need to do again is you need to root your device. I'm not responsible for anything that you do to your device. I'm going to show you that Call of Duty Warzone doesn't work for me just by rooting the device. I know a lot of you are curious as to how this works. And yes, it does just crash. And this is how we're going to do it. So root your device. That's the very first step. Okay. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to download two files that I put in the link in the description below. One file is called a play integrity test file. I have mine inside my documents folder. It's called play, play integrity fix 15.9.6. The other one is called app dash release. Now this is a bootloader spoofer. We're going to install it and then click done. This is always going to be on our device at this point, and this is the method that I use, so you might not need this app release, and if somebody says otherwise, then whatever, but I am showing you how I successfully did this in bed, and then ran to my computer and took a video showcasing it. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to open up our Magisk application. Again, you do have to have a rooted device, so go to Magisk. The first thing you're going to do is go to your settings. You're going to go down to Zygeist, which is right here, or Zygist, sorry. And you're going to toggle the toggle switch on. You're going to go to Enforce Deny List, toggle that on as well. 
Now make sure you pay attention to what the little toast message at the bottom said. We need to reboot our device after we toggle these on. Don't start doing anything yet. Go back, click the reboot icon, click reboot again, and wait for it to reboot. Again, you guys have asked me what the advantage of rooting is, and I didn't really want to go into all this kind of stuff. I did this a few months ago, or not a few months ago, about a month and a half ago to my device and got it going and I just didn't see a point in it at the time because I don't really play Terraria anymore that much so I didn't really care until everybody wanted to play Warzone. So now that we ended up rebooting our device we're going to go back into Magisk again. We are going to go over to modules and we're going to install from storage. We're going to go down to wherever you downloaded yours. It'll probably in your downloads folder. If you copied it from your computer, I copied mine over to my documents. We're going to install this. We're going to click OK, wait for it to install, and then we're going to reboot like it says to. Now, any modules you install, you should reboot your device so that it loads onto the device's internal storage properly. That's all I'm going to say about that. Now that that's installed, we're going to go back into Magisk again. And we're going to go to our settings icon. I'm just, every time you see my one hand move away, I'm just trying to make sure my camera focuses properly. It sometimes doesn't want to focus. And we're going to scroll down to configure deny list. We are going to click search, the search icon, and we're going to type in play. So type in play just like so. Click search and click back. Click the three dots. Click system apps. And you're going to search for... Google Play Services. You're going to check that off. You're going to check off Google Play Store. You're going to click back, click back again, click back again. Keep going until you're all the way back out to the home screen of Magisk. Click the reboot option again, and we're going to reboot this. All right, now that we're rebooted again, we are going to go back into Magisk one more time. And we are actually going to go and enforce a deny list on Call of Duty Modern Warfare, or Warzone. I keep calling it Modern Warfare for some reason. So we're going to go to Configure Deny List, check that off, and then we're going to go back, and we're going to hide our Magisk application. We're going to name this whatever we want, so we can name it um, Fancy, Fancy Pants. Fancy Pants, that's what I'm going to name this. And I'm going to click OK. So what this is doing is basically hiding the package name for Magisk, and creating a new application. I'm going to click cancel on that because I don't want to add a home screen icon. And now we have a new application called Fancy Pants. And we can just go right back into Magic Magisk in what, well, it's called Fancy Pants now. And now this is hidden from applications like Fortnite, PUBG, Call of Duty, any applications that are looking for Magisk because it's changed the actual package name. If you don't know what a package name is or a package name package is then google it i'm not gonna let you know all that kind of stuff right now um i am an android developer i know this kind of stuff but anyways so <clears throat> now that we've done all that we're gonna click reboot again and wait for it to reboot i know there's a lot of rebooting but this is the process of what i did all right now that we're rebooted we're gonna go to settings we're gonna scroll down to apps we're going to search for our application Google Play Store and Google Play Services. So click on the three dots, go to show system, click search, just click play or type in play, go search. And we're going to clear all the data from Google Play Services. Go to storage and cache, manage space, clear all data, click delete. Now we're going to go back, go back again, go to search, go to play again or type in play, click search, play store storage and cache click clear storage click delete click back click back keep going keep going now we're going to long press on cod warzone if you already have it installed like i do if you don't then just install it go to storage and cache clear storage and cache so just clear cache don't clear storage because you're going to get rid of all that user data so click clear cache click back go back go back now we're going to install an application from the google play store called Yaznak. So type in Yaznak just like so. So this is just a safety net checker and this is gonna check if our device is actually certified or not. If it's not certified, we're gonna do another set up, which is gonna be really quick, but let's go run safety net check. And there we go, we have two passes, which is great. Now we have this information, we can clear all this out. 
clear all this out. We can double check our fancy pants application, go to settings, and we can go to our deny list, make sure that everything's denied still. Uh, Google Play Store, COD Warzone, and our Google Play services will be denied as well. Now we should be able to go into COD Warzone and start playing our game. And you should be able to actually search out games like Terraria, for example, and it doesn't look like our device is actually certified. So let's go to settings, go to about, and it is certified. So give us a second, let's go back out again, and let's search it again. So let's close this out, try one more time. And if that doesn't work, then we're gonna long press on the application, go to storage and cache, go clear cache again, and clear storage, go delete, and we will go back into the Play Store. Now we're gonna search it. And there we go. So there it is right there. So it was just a bug that wasn't actually grabbing properly. So Terraria is loading up and you will be able to play it. Now, some games like Mario Kart, I think you need to actually um, use the, the deny list as well on that. So I'm going to double check on that one, but I played it last night. It kept on crashing on me and I think it's just because I didn't put it in my deny list. So what that does is just basically kind of hides it from <laughs> being on our certification list sort of thing. I'm not going to go into the depths of that, but you can Google that as well. I'm just trying to get you to actually be able to play this in as quick as possible. So now we're gonna go into COD Warzone and we'll see if we can load right into our first game. And there we go, we're loading, checking for updates. Again, this has already been installed on my device. I already downloaded all the five gigabytes of data. That is like this app or game actually let me download all the data and stuff and then it would not let me get to this screen. And that's the screen that you wanna see, obviously. So we can start playing and we're gonna jump into a match. And there we go. So this is just the actual waiting for lobby to fill. So this is just messing around for now, but I will let you see the actual gameplay. Again, I did a showcase of this last night or the other night on the channel. I shared video gameplay of me playing on this device with my other one, as you can see in the top left hand corner, that's my blue model. And that's the one that I was playing on. So enjoy, I hope this helped you. I hope you enjoy gaming on your $500 device because we should have this certified by AYN by default and have all these options to be able to play this game without having to jump through hoops. But I'm not seeing this happen anytime soon. Who knows? I'm not part of AYN. I do have affiliate links with them, but I'm not sponsored or anything like that. If they want to sponsor me, contact me with my email that is listed in my about page. Have a nice day, guys. See you next time. Enjoy playing some COD Warzone on your AYN Odin 2.